you for joining me today. I'm Rebecca Mitchell. I'm a senior SQL Server database administrator with Xdivia. Some of you may know me on Twitter as SQL Princess. Today, I'm going to show you how to manually fill over an always-on availability group. Uh, if you're not familiar with availability groups, they've been around since SQL Server 2012, and they're a high availability disaster recovery solution that replaces database mirroring. For more information about availability groups, please refer to the link that's provided with this video. So why would you want to manually fill over an availability group? Well, there are several good reasons. One is you might want to patch your servers without there being a significant outage for your customers or your users. You also might want to test it periodically to make sure it's behaving the way that you anticipate and are expe expecting. You also might want to make sure that your applications are behaving and reacting the way you want them to or expect them to uh, during a database failover. And so then you can also want to see how long that it takes to fill over your databases to, so you can plan accordingly as well. The larger the database, the more uh, time it may take, plus there's also network latency that issues that might play into that factor as well. So today I'm going to demonstrate on a SQL Server 2014 environment. So I'll bring that up. And so when you do a failover, you also want to make sure you start on your primary replica. Now, how do you do that? How do you say you're on vacation or took some time off, you come back, did it fail over? Well, let's find out. So what you do is open up Management Studio and go to your Object Explorer. Then expand one of your instances in your availability group and then expand down the way to the always on. Expand to availability groups. And this is our availability group we're doing today, which is AG1 2014. And then expand down to your replicas and you'll see Two is our primary and three is our secondary. You can also go down to your secondary and see what it says. If you go down to the replica, it will show you, yes, it is secondary. Yes, it will, it will show you here as well, but it's always a good idea just to check, make sure your replicas are on the same page. You never know. So then to start our fillover, we're gonna go to the dashboard. To get there, click on your availability group, right click and go to show dashboard. And so it will open up with lots of good information. What we're looking for basically it shows, yes, again, it's primary, but also we're looking for green check marks. If you see red X's, that is bad. And you might want to look into those issues before you continue. Another thing we're looking for is to make sure there's no data loss here. Everything's synchronized. We should not get any data loss or we won't get any data loss when we fail over. If it shows that some kind of data loss may occur, I recommend looking into that before continuing. So, to continue, go over to your upper right hand corner where it shows Start Failover Wizard. Go ahead and click on that, and it brings up a nice handy dandy uh, wizard. So this is just like a little splash screen. And go ahead and click Next, and this will be where we choose our new primary replica. Now with Enterprise Edition, you can have more than one secondary, and this is where we can choose which of the secondaries will become our new primary. In our case, we got really easy, we just have one. And so you can always scroll across and see, make sure it's all is well. We have a check mark, we're good to go. Next, it will show you, this is how, this is for connecting to your secondary to make it the new primary and make sure that you can connect to it. Uh, otherwise, that would be really bad if something happened to it and you don't want that, do we? So go ahead and connect, click next. And this is just a summary to make sure we did click what we think we clicked, we're good to go. This is also where you can script out everything we just did in the wizard in case you want the T-SQL for whatever reason. Click finish, and then while it's flying over, you can watch what it's doing, see what the progress it's making. And we are good to go. We got all successes. Go ahead and close that. And then we're back here. You notice we're still in SQL 2. It hasn't refreshed, even though it's an auto refresh. You need to be patient. It will refresh, or you can go view, refresh, and there we go, it is now the secondary. And then we can just verify over on our new primary replica and go to our dashboard over there. You can also click on these in here um, to navigate between the two. Either way, it's just a different way of doing things. So we see here, lots of green, good, check marks, good. Uh, it is a primary, we did not have any data loss, we are good to go. And so in this case, if you wanna fail back over, there's another way of doing that you can go over to SQL 3 now, which is our new 
primary, right click on our group and then just say failover. And that will give us the same wizard. When we just go through it, things are reversed. Now we want SQL2 to be our primary once again. Go ahead and click next, check our connections, make sure we can connect to it. Click next, or at least you're telling it which account to use to fill over. It, same thing. Uh, and then go ahead, you can script if you want. Click finish, let it do its magic and watch as the magic happens here. And all is well, we are good to go again. And then we can just refresh and just see how things are going. Yep, back to secondary. Yeah, this just this is fine. Uh, just do a refresh and it's good. Sometimes it takes a little minute to catch up. So there we have it. That is how you do a manual failover with an always on availability group. Thank you for joining me today and watching this video. If you have any questions about availability groups or need assistance with them or any other database issues, please don't hesitate to contact us. I hope you have a great day and may your availability groups always stay on. Thank you.